the next awesome feature that React System has, and it's actually my favorite, it's called Error Boundaries. And what this does is that this allows a component to handle errors of his children. All right, so for example, if Portals makes an error, we will be able to handle it with app, right? If return types makes an error, we can do the same, okay? But this is very important. It only works when the errors are from the children, all right? If Portals makes an error, he won't be able to catch it, okay? The only person, the only component that will catch it is app. So I am going to create a component that is going to give you a very common error that many React apps ha have. I'm gonna call this error maker, maker an extend component, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the state. All right, and the state will have an array. And I'm gonna, this array is gonna have friends inside. So I'm gonna call this Jisoo Flynn Dal. Knee prayer. Prayer. All right. So they're friends, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to render and I'm going to get the friends from the array. All good. And what I'm going to return is their names. All right. So I'm going to say friends map friend. Oh and friend, and I'm gonna give it a space. So I'm gonna make backticks. I'm gonna say space, friend, and space. All right, and I'm going to add error maker to my list of features. And it says Jisoo Flynn Dal Knee Prayer, and it's all good. All right, so let's cause an error. I'm going to say component did mount, and when the component mounts, I'm gonna change after maybe two seconds. I'm gonna set a timeout that after two seconds is going to change the state from the friends and array to um, maybe undefined, all right? Which this is very, very, very common because sometimes you're trying to get data and you replace your state and the data wasn't there, for example, all right? So friends, and I'm going to set friends to undefined. All right, and why did I close it? All right, and I save, but this is gonna happen after two seconds. So let's see how it goes. It's all good, and now it says, can I read property map of undefined? It's all good, but if I close, you see that the whole React application died in the ass. And this is very, very, very common. The component crashes and the whole fucking app crashes. It's very common. All right, and this is why this is my favorite, favorite um, feature so far. So we have a component that gave me an error and return types and portals components died in the ass. This is not so good for the user. The user doesn't know what happened. Everything just fucking disappeared because there was an error. We need to catch this error. And remember, only the father can catch errors. So what I'm going to do is here on the father, I'm gonna, introduce to you the new lifecycle method called component did catch and component did catch is going to catch the error and is going to give you the error and the info of that error if it has any info so i'm going to say console log uh, catched error the info i have is info all right so we're all good we're gonna change this soon pa everything died but look we have this here and it says catched type error can i read property map of undefined the info i have is and it gives me an info all right with the info let's see json stringify info what info is it uh component stack error maker in app at index whatever so it gives me where the error is all right it gives me let me make this big if give me some information here it is because sometimes you don't see for the subtitles here it is it gives me information of the error right and i can catch this 
it means I can answer to there, all right? So the app, which is the father, I'm going to have a state, for example, of has error, all right? And this will be false, for example. And I'm going to get has error from the state. And hey, what I'm, what I'm about to show you is just the proof of concept of component did catch. It's not a good solution what I'm about to do, but it's the proof of concept later I'm going to show you how you can actually use this in all your components without doing this, all right? But I'm gonna show you this. Has error, I'm going to check. If my component has error, I'm going to return something that I don't know yet, or I'm going to return error, error maker. And here I'm gonna create a component called error fallback. And I'm gonna say, sorry, something went wrong. All right. So if it did, if it has an error, I'm just going to show some. Sorry, something went wrong. Okay, and I'm going to say that when the component catches the error, I'm going to say has error equals true. Let's check that out. So I have my things here. This don't worry about. Let's do it again. Is there no error? All right, an error here. By the way, this thing that you're seeing. Of course, the user is not gonna see it, okay? This type error, blah, 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 is only on development, okay? But if I close this, look at how interesting. Just touched it and hello are still there. Remember before, everything on the React app died. And now here, I'm showing the component, sorry, something went wrong. You know what? I'm going to give a space here also. And we're good. And now we have an error. Let's close this bitch. Okay, let me clear this. All right, and now I have sorry, something went wrong, but the rest of the app is untouched. And this is something super, super cool. Now you can isolate errors and you can answer accordingly with those errors. And we can use the, the new method com called component did catch. All right, and this is something that I really, really, really appreciate and that I really like. And it makes it, it's gonna make your app look more professional and it's gonna make you um look more pro in the eyes of your clients in the eyes of your users because if there is an error you're able to handle it and you can isolate it this is my favorite part you can just isolate stuff and you just show something went wrong blah blah and you just are showing the fallback error which is sorry something went wrong that's awesome but i know you don't want to do this you don't want to have something like this i know this all right you don't want to have something like this on your code has error true or false in every component that will be boring and it doesn't look good on the next video i'm going to show you how you can create a high order component or a hook high order component that is going to give you this nice um it's going to give you this nice error handling but it's going to be it's going to make it very very easy because like i told you this way it's cool as an example but it's you're not going to do this for every component. Imagine that shit. Has error, yes or no? Has error, yes or no? It will be up in the ass. We're going to do that with a high order component. See you on the next video.